Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the color scale in UI design, how to pick it, and specifically we're going to talk about the Redix UI color scale, which is the one that we use for the Mom UI kit. So if you ever wondered which color steps fits best for your UI elements, then this video is for you. Let's get started. Basically, there are 12 steps in our color scale. Each of them have been crafted for specific uses and all color steps are coming in dark and light mode, but also in alpha modes. Um, these alpha modes are pretty useful if your background can shift, ensuring that you always have the right amount of visibility for these colors. What are the steps and what are they for, right? So step one and two are usually recommended for backgrounds. You can think about them as a stripped table. So for a bit of a subtle difference in between the two background colors, step three, four and five are all about UI components. You can think of them as states, as in default, hover, press. The next six, seven and eight are recommended for border elements like non-interactive things or focus rings. Nine and 10 are the punchiest colors. They are great to capture the attention of the user and you can use them for hover state in a button, for example. And then 11 and 12 are crafted for text, specifically the YAR key of information, meaning that 12 will always be more important than 11, and 11 is subtle underlying text. Remember that the Radix UI color scale is a massive scale. It contains a ton of different colors, and you can choose from each of them to define your brand colors, your accent colors, all of these. Make sure that your communication colors are also well selected based on that scale and yeah that's about it to play around with the color scales and i can't wait to see what you come up with and as always uh, thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this video please click the like button subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one bye